in this video. Our technical analysis for the Bitcoin price is playing out exactly as predicted. But the question is, what is next for the short term? And on top of that, we are also going to talk about how can you save your financial and purchasing power. And by the way, I will be also announcing my copy trade here in Bybit. Well, stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video. But first, gusto ko din sabihin na meron tayong Gab's Crypto 101 tutorial playlist. So if you want to learn trading cryptocurrencies for free, if you want to learn how can you make money from the whole crypto market, you can actually check out this playlist. You can just type Gab's Crypto 101 on YouTube search bar or sa Google. Or you can also find these guys in the description down below. But anyway, let's now continue with our analysis. So let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So the other day, nagpost ako ng video regarding this declining price while the RSI is increasing. So that is a traditional sign of a bullish trend reversal in the four time frame. And you know, diba? Prices was, price was declining. At the same time, RSI was increasing. So that is a sign of a bullish trend reversal. And look at that, guys. We played that movement exactly as predicted. So the question is, what is next for the Bitcoin price action? So, kapon or actually earlier today, nagbigay ako ng latest update na meron tayong ascending channel forming within the early time frame, which is ito. Oh. So, early time frame natin, meron tayong ascending channel. And traditionally, an ascending channel or rising channel, if nag-break bearish with sell volume, then we're going to target the bottom of the channel. Pero if walang sell volume, then we're going to get the different support areas at yun yung magiging targets natin. Kasi typically, no volume breakout can lead into a fake out. And look at this. Walang volume yung ating breakout. At the same time, nag-lead na siya into a fake out. So, ang nangyari na dyan ngayon is nag-lead na siya into a fake out after hitting our support area dito kay Bitcoin price action. So, right now, what is next for the Bitcoin price action? So, as of now, I think for me, it's actually still continuing this, ano, this 4-hour time frame bullish divergence within the 4-hour time frame. And I think what you have to monitor right now is the 50 moving average in the 4-hour time frame. Kasi I think that would be a crucial resistance to watch out right now. Previously, dun tayo nagkakaroon ng massive resistance. I know, sa mga previous movements ni Bitcoin, that was a support area. But in times of a bearish movement, that's going to act as a resistance. So right now, this is now going to act as a resistance area dito kay Bitcoin price action. So right now, yung long position na inopen ko the other day dito, kinilose ko na siya. Of course, that was in profit ng 36%. Then, nag-open ako ng panibagong short position dito ka kagabi kay Bitcoin kasi, yung diba sabi natin, meron tayong bearish breakout pero, kinulose ko na siya around nung, actually, kinulose ko siya nung nahit yung trail stop ko dito. So, right now, naka-close na yung short trade ko. And what's next for the Bitcoin price? So, let's try to look at this in the early time frame. In the early time frame, mm, ang hirap sabihin yung RSI niya ngayon but you could somehow see na this could be potential bearish divergence. I know price is increasing. RSI could be possibly declining. But yeah, I think right now ang pinakamaganda monitor is this 50 moving average in the in the forward time frame. So as of the time being, if you want to understand where are we heading next, I think you have to monitor the forward time frame lang talaga. And right now we are trying to break the 50 MA in the forward time frame. But as you can see, wala pa tayong buy volume upon this area. So this is not yet a confirmed movement. So if let's say makikita tayo ng candle close dito above this area, at the same time walang buy volume, then this is more likely going to lead into a fake out. Kasi right now, we are now at a resistance area dito kay Bitcoin. So as you can see, we are now forming a clear resistance area between this area. Let's try to let's try to plot a price range area dito na ano. So here's a price range area between the 22.9k up until the 21.3k. So right now, I think around the 21,000 up until the 22.9k or 23k would be a very strong resistance area now we have to monitor right now with the Bitcoin price. So in this case, I'm I'm going to expect more consolidation between the 17 up until the 21.5k or 22. So right now, for the short term, na close na ako na positions ko, wala akong open na trade ngayon for the time being. Kasi look at this, wala na tayong next indicators to form. So right now, in order for us to understand, understand what's next, we have to wait for the next indicators to form, which is fine, wala pa. But right now, 
we are seeing a potential resistance within the area na sinabi ko, as well as the 50 moving average, the 4 time frame. So for now, I am going to expect a resistance area dito. And I'm not going to open any trade for the time being kasi wala tayong clear opportunity for the time being. And also, gusto ko din pag-usapan itong USD to P Philippine Peso fiat conversion kasi as you all know, nagde-devalue ating Philippine Peso for the past few years na actually. And ito yung pinost ko actually nisang araw dito sa aking Facebook account. Storing your savings in stable coins like USDC or USDT at any crypto wallet is much safer than storing it at any local banks. Kasi bakit? For the past year, what we have been seeing is nagde-decline yung ating value ng ating Philippine Peso against USD. Humihina yung Philippine Peso against the US Dollar. As you can see, tumataas yung conversion niya. From 48 Peso, naging 54 Pesos na siya. Actually, 54.1 yung highest range niya or highest price niya for the time being. If you have money ngayon sa bank na naka-store since 2021, ang nangyari na doon is your purchasing power has already devalued 14% from 2021. And if let's say, nakalagay lang sa banko yung pera mo from 2008, you would have noticed na your money has already devalued negative 35% from 2008. So in this case, as much as possible, I think it would be better if you put your money into stable coins such as USDC or USDT or USD. Any stable coin siguro na mas okay. But of course, you still have to understand what is the best stable coin or pinaka okay na stable coin. But for now, in order to save your purchasing power as much as possible, you store your money at a dollar account. Or if let's say wala kang kakayaan para mag-open ng dollar account, I think the easiest answer sa ganito sa in order to avoid the devalue of your money and purchasing power is to store it at a stable coin like USDC or USDC. And one example that you can also open that is actually in Bybit. So if you, let's say you want to start trading or if you want to, let's say, move your money lang, you can actually put that in Bybit. And as usual, if you want to claim bonus with Bybit, you can actually use my sign-up link that you can find in the description down below. And by the way, ito yung next announcement, which is yung Bybit copy trading. But first, what is copy trading? So basically, copy trading is may ibang tao na gumagawa ng trade para sa'yo. So if let's say, Gusto ko maglagay ng pera sa Bybit, pero at the same time, wala akong kakayahan mag-trade. Ang gagawin ko is, I will let other people trade for me. And paano ba mangyayari yun? It's by copy trading. So, ang mangyayari is, hahanap ka ng tao na taga-trade para sa'yo. And then, pag nakapili ka na ng tao na, ano, na maganda yung kanyang performance. So, for example, ito si low, low, low Risk High Return, pangalan ng user na ito. As you can see, yung account niya is meron siya 95% na win rate for the past 7 days. And for the 7-day profit, meron siya 45 US dollars na kinita for the past 7 days. So, all you have to do is just to put money in your Bybit Derivatives account. So, if nakapaglagay na kayo ng pera doon, what you can do is actually go and search for a specific account dito. So, let's say you want to search for a specific account na mataas yung kanya win rate. For example, ito si owner. What you can do is just go to his account. And then, you can actually check out his latest trades. And after that, if nakita nyo yung kanyang trade, all you have to do is just to click copy if let's say okay ka na dun sa kanya account. And in that case, kung ano yung trade niya, yun yung magiging trade mo. So kung ano yung makuha niyang profits sa trade niya, yun din makukuha mong profits and percentage sa inyong account. So depende siya sa kung gano'ng kailalagay mo amount na pera. Pero basically what you have to do first is to put money in your Bybit account. And then after that, you have to copy a specific individual dito sa copy trading. With that being said, I am now also announcing my copy trade account dito kay Bybit. So Siguro from time to time, mag-open ako ng some small trades within Bybit. So, if let's say you want to have some small trades or from time to time, makasa makisali sa aking mga trades, you can also actually open dito Gab's Crypto. So, you can just actually type in Gab's Crypto dito sa aking copy trade. So, ayun o. Ayun o. Open bagong-bago pa lang aking trading account dito sa, sa ano, copy trade. So, if let's say you want to start dito, you can actually cop you can actually join my copy trade account dito kay Bybit. You can actually search this by typing in Gab's Crypto sa search bar dito kay bybitglobal.com or ilalagay ko siya sa description down below if you want to see or if you want to learn how to copy trade. And of course, ilalagay ko yung link ng copy trade dito sa, ano, sa description down below. So, if you want to be a part of Bybit Copy Trade, you can actually find this guys in the description down below. And also, if you want to also search this, bybitglobal.com slash copy trade. And all you have to do is log in, deposit sa derivatives account, at the same time, select a specific person na may magandang win rate. Or if you want to join my copy trade account, just type in Gab's Crypto here sa ating Bybit copy trade page.
But anyway, I want to update that for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.